It's Miss Mangiarelli and uh, oh. and me, Mr. Martineau. Um, also speaking for Miss Fitzpatrick, she lives about 40 miles from here. But your assignment today is to bounce a ball and record its rebound heights. But we want to show you how to do that. So first of all, you need some type of a ruler. This is what I have at my house and Mr. Martineau's house. I have a regular ruler and I have measuring tapes, but I don't have a meter stick. So I made my own meter stick. I cut pieces of paper and I marked where the centimeters are. Remember, use centimeters. We don't use inches in science. So I just marked where every centimeter was, and then I moved my ruler and marked them again all the way up to 100 centimeters because 100 centimeters is one meter. So this is a meter stick, and I taped it to the wall. Um, ask your parents for permission. I used painter's tape because it won't leave a mark on the wall, but check with your adult and see what is acceptable to them. So if you don't have a meter stick, make one. If you don't have a measuring tape, you can make your own meter stick. So that should solve that problem for you. The second problem you might have is you need a ball. All we have other than a football, and that won't work because it's not round, is a ping pong ball. Um, it'll bounce and it'll rebound off the floor. So you don't need any type of special ball, just a round ball. So we're just using a ping pong ball. So we've solved the meter stick problem and we've solved the ball problem. You could use a tennis ball, you could use a soccer ball, you could use a basketball, just something round. Okay, what you need to do is drop the ball from the heights that we told you to drop it from. You have to drop it from 100 centimeters, 80, 60, and 40 centimeters. You'll let it bounce back up and you're gonna measure how high it bounced back up. And that's not the easiest thing to do, but that's what you have to do. And you're going to drop it from 100 centimeters once and fill it in, a second time and fill it in, and a third time and fill it in. So you're doing three trials. Then you'll change the height you drop it from. You'll drop it from 80 once, twice, three times, then 60 and 40. Okay, and I'll show you how to fill in the data table. So I've got my little ping pong ball. And the first height I have to drop it from is 100 centimeters. I want to place the bottom of the ball at 100 centimeters. And I know I have a white ball against a white piece of paper, but this is the bottom of the ball starting at 100 centimeters. So I don't want the ball here. I want the bottom at 100 centimeters. And I'm going to drop it. And now this is the tricky part. It will bounce back. I need to see how high it rebounds. You might ask an adult to help you for another set of eyes. If you have a sibling who is looking for something to do, ask them to help you. Make sure your dog is in the other room because they will come and get the ball. So I'm going to drop my ball from 100 centimeters and do my best to estimate how high it bounced back up. To me, it looked like it bounced to about 62 centimeters. And if I'm not so sure, I'm going to do it one more time. Here's the bottom of my ball. Yeah, and I think I'm going to estimate as best as I can that it bounced to about 62 centimeters. So in my table, 100 centimeters, I have to lean against something. I'm going to fill it in. As best as I can tell, it bounced up to 62 centimeters. Well, I need to do it twice more. So I'm taking my ball again at 100 centimeters, drop, and I think about as best as I can tell. Let's try. Yeah, I think it's about the same. So I'm just going to fill it in. I think it was a little higher that time, but I'm going to do that a third time as well. This is why someone helping you is very beneficial. Um, but do that for the 100 centimeters, then lower the drop height to 80 centimeters. 
So I'm gonna do that three times for, with the bottom of the ball at 80. It's gonna bounce back up and I'm gonna do the best I can to read from the bottom of the ball. After I do that three times, I'll start the bottom at 60, drop it, do the best I can to read where the bottom of the ball is three times, and then at 40. Can you do the 80? Drop Please. it from 80? Drop it from 80 just so we see how high it goes after the 80. All right, so the bottom of the ball is at 80. Mm -hmm. Looked like about 52. So it should be smaller. It should be smaller. Yeah. Want to drop it at 60? Sure. So the bottom of the ball is at 60. Looks like it's about 37. Yep. Okay. And want to do 40 just because? Yep. So here's 40. Looked like it was about 27 mm -hmm. or 28. Yep. Okay. Uh, hopefully these directions make sense. It was a lot to have to type out, so we thought showing you would work better. Um, you know we're online from nine to two. So chat with us, email us, ask us questions, but we hoped it helped. So this is Miss Manch from the House of M. And that's Mr. Martino. Peace. And stay safe. Yep.